Welcome to Schofield Farm. We have a treat for you today. We are going to spin honey for the first time. Last time we harvested honey, we did it very old fashioned primitive method over a bucket in like a paint filter mesh bag. And we invested in a, uh, a manual honey spinner and we are getting it set up right now. You're gonna see and learn what we do the same time that we're learning. A lot of you are way, way more expert at these than we are, but a lot of you have no experience with these. So I thought it'd be worth just sharing what we're doing so you can see, I guess, maybe even the wrong way to do things, <laughs> but you can see how we're learning to do things. So right now we got this honey spinner from Amazon and it's just a manual two frame. I'll show you what the inside looks like and never used it before, stainless steel. We read a hack about doing a drill so you don't wear yourself out cranking it. My husband is working on raising the legs because we are going to do it. Let me show you. We're going to do it over. This is the bucket we used last time to just drain, kind of drip drain, filter our honey. And we're going to put a mesh bag in there so that we can catch all of the wax and different propolis and debris and stuff, then we can use this to uh, render some of the wax and I can use it for something, but we're going to have the spinner be tall enough to drain with its little honey gate into this bucket. That's the plan right now. Okay, so we took our frames out. They're in this box. They've been in here for a couple weeks because we left town for a little bit before processing it. Someone told us to put them out in the heat. Um, apparently that person did not live where we live because there's a ton, ton, ton of honey melted in the bottom. Because some of it was not all the way capped off. So I'm just going to puncture. This is not a honey tool. This is actually so funny. It's a pampered chef tool for holding vegetables while you cut them, but you know use what you have because we cannot find where the honey tool is that I actually ordered. We actually also have a knife, but I don't think I'm going to cut all this wax off. I'm gonna try to keep as much on so we can put it back there for the bees. They are still gathering nectar, so they might be able to make more honey for us. We will see. I don't know. There's a lot of comb there. How about the other side? Okay, so see how some of this is not capped off? We test it with the lightometer thing, fractometer, I don't remember the name. I'm gonna put the name written for you right. And it's fine, but yeah, it melted when we had it in the box because we live someplace really, really hot and somehow I'm gonna have to get the honey out of the bottom of this thing. So it's already starting to drip. You can see what I'm doing, just going down, poking them open. You know what? We should have put plastic down. You want to get a couple plastic bags and put them on the floor, please, so we're not all honey? That would be great. All right. We put one frame on each side. Wax dripping all over our floor. Was this a good idea to do inside? Was this a good idea to do inside? It's not recording. We'll see. It was not. I don't think it was. Oh, never mind. Okay. We are going to try this for the first time. Where's this look? Go ahead. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We turn, we flip them around. We are going to re-spin. 
I can already tell you it has got a lot more honey out than when we did the drip method. Oh like so much more. Okay, I guess I'll hold it down. Good luck. wax it leaves on those frames because I'm impressed by this because when we did it before what we did is we took a comb and we cut the wax and honey off nothing, nothing this left. has so much wax left that the bees can actually use it and it's so much more efficient for the bees and for us than how we did it last okay. time so last time was cheaper but don't you think overall this will save us money like we'll get more honey yeah, right? it's definitely it'll time. pay itself yeah. off no not just in time if they can, if they can put honey in there and not have to rebuild, they'll probably produce more honey, right? So this is pretty cool. I like this. I like this better than this method. Now this frame, they didn't build the wax evenly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm debating if we leave the wax on, if we scrape the wax off, because if they rebuild on this, I don't know if they're going to build it out right. We're gonna go ahead and spin it, but I'm thinking about what we should do about the wax there. Because it definitely is not as nicely built out as the last frame. Oh, sorry. Okay. So both of these frames are built out kind of strange. I am strongly thinking about just scraping the wax for our use, then paint brushing some of the wax back on after I melt it down so that they start with a better foundation. Because that one, here I'm eating honey. <laughs> so sweet though. That one is so weird. All right, let's see if I can keep this from flying away. bag because if you look inside there's definitely wax mixed in with the honey more than I imagined there would be so that's going to, to actually be something we did need the mesh bag but that's more wax for me to make crafts with so I'm, I'm not complaining do you want to turn them up away or I, guess I, can turn I didn't I was just picking okay But it's definitely a time saver. And then, yeah. Oh, 
all over our floor. Even with that bag of fur. All over. Okay, so the girls. the honeycomb. Mm. Looks so good. Mm. It said the word snake and I got scared. This side. This side. We have one small side left. what we have right now. So I'll show you what it looks like inside there and we have to somehow ladle all of this honey in all this honey in the sterilite thing. I need to somehow ladle that into the strainer. So I'm gonna figure this out. Alright, I'm trying to scrape this out of here. The best I can there's so much honey in it and I wanted to say if you enjoy our content, even if you already know all about bees, our main content isn't bees. We just like to share bees because I love bees. But if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you along with our journey. I'd love to have you share your feedback, your advice, your questions, your comments in the comment section. If you'd hit like, that helps other people who would actually appreciate our videos be able to see them. All right, guys, we're going back out to the hive because I think we may be able to change out some more super frames for the ones we just spun. That way we can just put those right back on. They can clean up the honey and wax themselves. I have a feeling there were some that last time we took them off were almost ready. So we're going to just check that out and see. Okay, we're checking our hive with our older queen. It's the hive so on our left. You want to look... I don't know if any of them are ready. Maybe. Yeah, let me just pull it out. It's easier to work. It's four, but not cats. Okay. This one's four and cats. Okay, side. so lift that one out and put it over here. We can even just change out one of our things we just spun. Okay, then open that up. Let's see how they look in there. Ooh, look at all that activity. And all of that calf honey. That's 
pretty great. Oh, that looks pretty good. How's the other side? Okay, you're going to have to shake them off, remember? Yeah. Okay, let's shake them off over here before you put them in. just freshly spun so it's got wax but no honey for them so that's great okay you want to check the other ones oh no okay not very heavy all right oh that looks good but the other side is very little right about 40%. that's very little okay So that's a maybe. Turn the other side over. Oh no, not very much on that side. Okay. They definitely have some comb built out. That's for sure. This is also empty on this side. Yeah, that one looks pretty empty overall. Oh no, they're doing a little bit of comb. How about that next one? How about the other side? There's some. We might, I don't know, what do you think? Might take that one? There's one right there. Okay, so we only decided to take two frames from this whole thing. They have several they're still working on. They're still getting nectar. They are still very, very active in the super. So we still may yet get more honey. It is only the end of August, we have a long season. We have so many sunflowers alone blooming. All of our myrtle trees are blooming. There's a lot, um, even just on our property, lots of zinnia, lots of, lots and lots of flowers in my pollinator garden. So I think they still have sources. We're going straight to this one because that one is pretty empty. This one's pretty full. We'll see if there's anything we can take or not. Ooh, that's beautiful. On the other side. Wow, that's so pretty though. Do you want to turn it around? Oh, you want to take it? Maybe, I don't know. That's beautiful, we'll see. We'll see, since we have things built out for them, where both sides are more built out than that. Wow, that was a pretty one. Ooh, this is a pretty one. <gasps> this is a pretty one. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. Yep, take that one, take that one. That's yeah, really good. The other, the other side's the best. Oh. Okay, the other side. Oh, there is a few more. I'm sorry, little girls, I'm sorry. You're doing such a good job and I'm brushing you from your job. That side's not capped off at all. It's a decent amount of honey, just not capped off. Yeah.
we're putting the emptier frame on bottom and not frame, the emptier super. We're putting the fuller super on top because it worked on the other hive for them to build out more. So that's what we're doing and they're super busy. We bugged them enough. We're just gonna put everything back together and leave them be and spin some more honey. Definitely nice having a few more frames so we get a spin to keep the mess at a minimum. Okay, we went out, we worked the bees. We actually got how many? Five more frames? Four more frames? Yeah. Four or five. Four or five more frames. I'm not sure. We're going to spin that before we clean up this gigantic mess that we made. It is sticky and messy. And I'm not sure my husband loves beekeeping that much anymore because he does not like sticky stuff but I think we got a lot more honey than we did last year. So I'm encouraged. I don't, I don't think he is, but he'll like it when the honey's ready. <laughs> okay, let's not have the bolt fall off this time. Crazy fast thing. Okay, so we're gonna open the honey gate and we are going to see what comes out because now it's too deep for spinning anymore, but we have a couple more to spin. This is fun, liquid gold, liquid gold. Okay, see, use that, all right. All right, some good honey. Okay, so we finished spinning our honey. My review of this honey spinner, it's a two frame manual spinner. It was not made to have a drill. And so we, <laughs> we had several things fall apart, shake apart. Not that weren't unfixable, we fixed them all. But my review is it got tons of stuff out. It saved my shoulder, which I have a shoulder issue. So that was worth it. Yeah. Was it a little humorous and messy? Yes. But would I do it with a drill again? Yes. We also got so much more honey than last year. So much more from like the same amount of frames, I think. Yeah. So was it worth the money? Absolutely, yes. Now I'm going to open the gate, finish pouring it out. If I can actually get it open. <laughs> ah! Then I'll show you how we hang the bag from a board. And then I'm not even going to pour this into jars today. I'm debating whether that will be on this video or maybe it'll just be a later video. But we're going to have the wax and the different pearl clips and the different debris hang. I will um, process the wax a different time. I've done that before. I'm definitely excited about making a balm. I have some wax set aside to make a balm. So this will help me get that goal completed. And I cannot wait to find out how much honey this is. We still have like four supers on, two on each hive, and our season's not over, so we will get more honey, but this is a wonderful, wonderful start, and I am so thankful for this machine. I'm telling you, if you need other tools for your homestead, find a way to sell things, find a way to make things, and earn the money to invest back in your homestead, because it is so worth it. I basically just decided I needed this, and I did a lot of stuff to sell some of my extra garlic. Um, I made more elderberry syrup, I sold some of my herbs. I just did what needed to be done to get this machine. This machine is going to help our family. It's gonna help our, save money, because we buy honey even though we have bees. This is such a wonderful investment for our family. So I highly recommend doing a similar thing for yourself. If there's a tool you really need for your homestead, find a way to earn money from your homestead to invest back in your homestead. Okay, opening the gate. There's a lot of honey left in here, and there's a lot of wax, a lot of comb that came off. Just because they had comb that was not built right on some of the frames. So I've almost got all the honey and wax out, but you can see what it looks like there in the bottom. And then let's show you what it looks like in the bucket that we have the paint strainer mesh filter just to catch all the wax and stuff in just a minute. 
I might have to scoop some of that wax out. There's a lot of wax there. It's going to get, I think it's going to get um, kind of like traffic jammed. Oh man, I am going to be so sticky. Wow. Make sure it all goes through that little honey gate. Okay, so I have it drained, and I'm going to show you what the what the bucket looks like. We got a lot of honey. I'm guessing it's about three gallons, and I'm super excited. And oh my gosh, it is just so cool to keep bees. I don't even keep the bees primarily for the honey. I keep it as pollinators, but the honey is so so good. And I just really appreciate all of you who've stuck around this long and watched our whole time of our very first time spinning our own honey, not just harvesting it, but spinning it. So much more efficient. It was definitely worth it. Okay, let me show you that honey. And there it is. There is the honey. You see a ton of wax and it is probably about, let's see, I would say maybe three fifths full of a five gallon bucket. So right around three gallons. Super cool. All right. We're gonna hang it, right? Yeah. Oh, is it heavy? Um, it's a little bit heavy. At yeah, least it's not cold like last time. Yeah, last time. Last time it was so cold, it was December. It was And it would idea. not, yeah. Having no AC is good for something, right? No, it's still not good for anything. It's good for this. Come on, honey. It's crazy how much honey, faster honey. it's moving than last December. Uh-huh, honey, honey. Look, we had trickles. This is awesome. When we were lucky. All right. That is craziness. Thanks for joining me and have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon.